Hello guys, and welcome to a new review video. I'm really excited as I just received this new product. So let's start the review video. To QVC for her second appearance. And since that time, with the number of books ordered that day and what's been ordered today, now over 25,000 books are gone. That means in this show alone, already 1,500 of you are going to be cooking for Jeffrey or cooking for insert name here. Ina Garten is the woman that is known as Barefoot Contessa. You know her and love her from Food Network. This is, which book for you, Ina? Ten. Number 10. 10. Come in here. <laughs> you sweet thing. I'm so Hi. tickled to see you again. So Welcome back. <laughs> oh, my dear friend. So good to see so you. So wonderful Thank to see you. you. Congrats on the new book. Like, isn't that crazy? It's, we always have a good time, don't we? We do have a great time. I tell you, we're just so tickled and honored to have you here. And look at this. This is crazy. And you know, we switched your a few things out from your last presentation. Incredible. Yeah. Because there's so many wonderful dishes in the book. But, but let's we'll, begin we'll with go, Jeffrey. We're going directly to cake. We right? will go okay, directly good. to cake. And that's one of Jeffrey's favorites, you tell me. But well, you and Jeffrey are. will have been married 48 years come December. Isn't that lovely? Wow. He's really, and, and it's all because of him. He's such a sweetheart. Oh, <laughs> and not because so he's watching. <laughs> not because he's watching. All right. So you'll be seeing him later tonight. I will. Now yeah. here's a little, here's a little behind the scenes. Will you go home after a day of working like this and cook, or will you guys order in? Uh, it depends on what I've been working on that day. If I've been working on cake, <laughs> <laughs> I'll try and make dinner. But if I've been working on uh, pasta fagiol, mm -hmm. I'll probably have that for dinner. Oh, very nice. Yeah. So it's usually yeah. what you're working on is what yeah. you guys eat. Very often. Well, that's yeah. cool. All right. <laughs> So let's begin with the cake. This is the cover photo on the book. Let it me grab is. the book so everyone can see. Thank Picture you. of you and your handsome husband. Thank this you. is Sweetie. Ina and Jeffrey. <laughs> and the book was really kind of inspired by all the favorite dishes that Jeffrey loves for you to make for him. But also it's, uh, it's that his loving that I cook for him really inspires me to cook more, which oh. is really, the, really what my, my career has been and about. And that's dear. Let's that's take wonderful. a look at this cake because <laughs> we didn't have this uh, uh, out on the table the last time you were here. It is the cover photo on the book. Tell us about your chocolate cake. Well, it's a chocolate um, cake, and it's got a mocha buttercream, but it's real buttercream. It's with whipped egg whites and mm. a sugar syrup. It's a good Italian meringue buttercream. And you and have a secret ingredient. It just melts in your mouth when you when you taste it. Secret ingredient to bring out the flavor of the chocolate? Coffee. Coffee. And this one has a little Kahlua in it to add to the coffee. Well, let's just put some so Kahlua great. up in there, <laughs> shall we? You're just starting to, starting with dessert, right? Yes, ma'am. <laughs> I am. I, after your life is short, we're going to have Ina's cake first. All right, here we are. Mmm. <laughs> Oh, I know. It's good, isn't it? I taste the coffee. Yeah. Just subtle. Mm -hmm. yeah, I don't want but anything the to hit you. But so the butter just melts in your mouth. It's not like a fake buttercream that has like God knows what in it. But this is like really good ingredients. And we've and had that buttercream that, that oh, tastes that chemically in um, no no the no. The worst. That Absolutely is amazing. The, the cake is marvelous. <laughs> I need to let everyone know we're already uh, taking orders for two thousand in this presentation. Yeah. We're on three Not easy great. payments today. This is three payments of seven dollars and eight pennies. I should let everyone know also the price and the easy pay all go away end of day today. Wow. This will be the last chance to get it at this low price with the easy pay. This is uh, actually hitting street on the 25th of Tuesday. October. That's the same day we ship it. Oh, good. So trust me, when you go to bookstores and find this, you won't find it at this price. And you certainly won't find our easy pay. And you will not have had Ina Garten telling you all about it in the bookstore, more than likely. All right. Can we talk about one of our favorite comfort dishes for the cool weather seasons? Right. Brisket. This is your brisket. Tell us about it. So you saute um, three onions, uh, um, red onions, yellow onions, and leeks. Mm. You saute a lot of them. And then you make a, a, a sauce out of with some beef stock and some red wine, a little tomato sauce. And then you put some underneath the, in the pan, underneath right. the brisket, then the brisket, and then onions on top. You cover the whole thing with aluminum foil and just let it cook really slowly for three and a half hours. Now, do and you cover it with the foil to keep it moist? To keep all the, the uh, all of the moisture in, yeah. Yeah. And it and it sort of steams the beef and it just it's tender and delicious and the c flavor of the onions really gets into the beef and it's like the easiest brisket I've ever made in my mm, life. Mm, not to mention the best. <laughs> Thank you. Oh my word. Thank you. I had such a big mouthful of there I, did, I needed to work through it before I did my happy dance. <laughs> happy dance. That's the brisket happy dance. We had talked about that the last time you were here. And it's, it's just wonderful because you, you put it in the oven, set a timer and forget about it. Oh my. Which I love. 26,000 books ordered between last presentation and this one. Now 2,500 ordered in this show. Oh, that's great. Three easy Thank payments you. and the price all go away. End of day 
today. 85 recipes in the book. Let's talk pasta vajol. Yeah. Because this is the perfect season for a lovely soup. We used the Le Creuset we had earlier I in know, the show. I know, I love that's my favorite Le Creuset. And your favorite and, color, I'm told. Yes. It's my favorite color. And what I love about this is it's soup, but it's really a meal. Oh my because yes. it's got pasta and beans, and I use a 16 bean soup packet. Where do as we find the base that? In the grocery store. So they sell a 16 yeah. bean bag of beans. Exactly. The whole thing's all together. Okay. And then you just make the, the, the soup and you add pasta to it, and it's just so satisfying and just delicious. Now, it makes a big amount here. Do you have oh, yeah. secrets on freezing soup? Yeah, you just put it in a quart container and put it in the freezer. Leave a little room at the top because yeah. liquid expands when a it freezes? Little, just a little bit. Yeah. yeah exactly. Oh, this and smells amazing. I love making big pots of soup because mm. then you have, have dinner, lunch, I love eating big pots yeah. of soup. That's amazing, <laughs> my friend. That's good. Thank it's you. It's so Thank good you. and so good. It just warms Isn't you right down to your satisfying? toes. Satisfying. Yeah. Oh, Wonderful. so lovely. Thank you. Can we talk about a recipe? Yeah. That you have included in every one of your ten books. There's one recipe that I've included in every book. Every yeah. single book exactly. Ina Garten has ever written has included this recipe for her homemade chicken stock. Tell us about it. Well, I just think it's so delicious using good homemade stock, and it's different from anything you can buy. And you get a huge pot. You put in chickens. You put in vegetables. It's all right here. Mm. You put in herbs, and you just put it on simmer, and it cooks for four hours while you're doing other things around the house. And the house smells amazing. The house smells amazing. Everybody thinks you've been cooking for days. Oh. But everything you make with it tastes different. It just is so worth it. And you know, like we you, call it liquid gold. Liquid gold, gold exactly. <laughs> and you know what? It's worth its weight in gold because now you can make all those great soups. I would take this and make a lovely chicken and dumplings. Yeah. And I'd take Wonderful. your stewed chicken from your stock and use that for but the dumplings But even for well. all, different, all different kinds of stews and, and soups and use it for a lot of things. Sauces. Lovely. Wonderful for that. So let's talk meatballs. Oh, I'd love to Last meatballs. Sunday, some Italian <laughs> friends invited oh, me yeah? over for a classic Sunday Italian supper. Oh, that must have been wonderful. Oh, we had we had brujol and we had homemade meatballs and oh, homemade sauce wow. and I ate until I popped. <laughs> but your meatballs, you have a special technique. Tell us about those. Well, what I do is I make them and then I put them on a sheet pan and I roast them. So nice. you're not standing over a, a hot stove trying with oil, to turn them, trying to turn them, get them brown on all sides, and also the oil splattering all over you and the, the oh. kitchen. This just you brush them with oil, you put them in the oven. And, and you roast them, and they're delicious. So these have um, beef, veal, and pork in them, and they're just... I call it the trifecta. The trifecta. <laughs> <laughs> the trifecta of meatballs with all kinds of flavorings and parmesan and all, all kinds of things in it. And usually we serve it over spaghetti, but I love it over just wonderful polenta. Oh, it's my. It's creamy, and it's just delicious with the meatballs. I have so a picture here. I want to show you. Yeah. And I want you to tell me the first word that comes to mind. Uh-oh. Okay? <laughs> I didn't tell Ina was going to to do this. Yeah. Look at the screen. Look at the monitor right there in front of you. Uh, yeah. When uh, you see this black and white photo, of, oh my, when you see this black and white photo of this young man, <laughs> what's the first word that comes to adorable. mind? Adorable. Adorable. <laughs> That's your husband, Jeffrey. Do you have any idea how old he was there? Yeah, he was probably 19. Was that college? It was college. That was yeah. college. Yeah. Oh my. I knew him in college. I'm going to hand this to you, the folks that are with you. There's a photo in here of you and Jeffrey on your wedding day. Oh, yeah. I believe. Yeah, and guys, is. can you find that for me? Can you I can, come through? I can find it right here. Can you come through and find that for me? <laughs> there we go, because I want us to keep looking at food. And then we'll show that picture. Can sure. we talk your carrot salad? This is one of my favorite salads. It's um, carrots with um, olive oil and, and uh, some maple syrup. And you roast the carrots and then combine it with arugula and an orange vinaigrette. And Here's your dressing. Marcona almonds. And it's just, I love the hot carrots and the cold salad. This to me and cranberries and I just to me this is really just a lunch. It's just, you could well, I was going to say or that you could serve it with chicken. I would say dinner. serve it with turkey for Thanksgiving. Oh, turkey for Thanksgiving would be, would be fantastic. Right? I just okay. adore it. Do we, oh, it's under here. I, it's we under there. found oh, yeah. the picture. <laughs> Now here not funny. is, oh, it's not funny at all. I, I, I think it's I, marvelous. I used to look like that. <laughs> you still isn't he, do. Isn't he adorable? Look at that. In <laughs> December, you and Jeffrey will celebrate your 48th wedding anniversary. What do you think keeps a couple together for 48 years? Mary Jeffrey. <laughs> so kind. I think, I think we just take care of each other. Which well, is really and that's that the true I know that isn't I'm it? the most important thing in his life, and I hope he feels that he's the most important in mine. Uh, and at the end of the day, that's all that counts. You better right? believe it. You yeah. know what else counts? All the gorgeous color photos you put in this book. <laughs> Thank you. That counts too. Look at I all love the that pretty one. That's oh, a plum that's the chutney. chutney. Yes. And it goes with the uh, pork tenderloin. There's oh, and the challah, one the of the first bread. things I made for him. 
Look at that. Really gorgeous yeah. things. Thank and you. look at all the lovely pictures, easy to follow recipes. This was my original store. That's the original, original Barefoot store. Contessa? And that was the original ad for it. Isn't that amazing? When you bought I, it. And when I bought it. It was um, 400 square feet. And I bought it. And I love that the, the, the ad says unlimited potential. Little did I know. Well, little did they know. <laughs> oh, my word. Isn't that well, sweet? Why, you know, I think that's a fitting time for us to toast your success. We oh, made one of your oh, cocktails this one of, here. This is one of my favorites. Tell us about this one. So this is a limoncello Tom Collins. So it's like lemonade. Uh-huh. But, of course, with limoncello in it. With limoncello, and, of and course. I, I thought, well, maybe I'll put a little sugar on the rim or maybe some salt. They were they just weren't right. I mix them both together and it's perfect. There you are. How's that? Two, so you, 48 years with oh, you with the love thank of your life. You. How thank about you. that? Mm. That's delightful. Mm. Isn't that good? We should get together in the Hamptons sometime, you and I, and have a, a have a cocktail. Deal. I love it. I, <laughs> I love hope it. you'll be knocking on my door. Oh, well, you can count on it. You'll probably be like, when is he leaving? I don't know. <laughs> um, take a look here. This is your this is so easy. It's roasted broccolini, and you put broccolini on a sheet pan, olive oil, salt, and pepper into the oven, and that's the way it comes out. It's sweet and crisp and delicious. We have Pretty taken easy, over right? 29,000 orders since you wow. uh, were here for your wow. first airing. Wow. Over 5,000 in this show, and that's half the quantity we brought in for the entire two appearances. Oh, this is Ina's, Ina's final appearance of the year with us. She's a very busy lady. She's got a book Thank tour you. coming up. We're not going to be able to have much more time with you in this presentation. This is your roasted, ra roasted raspberry, raspberry applesauce. Apple sauce. And this is great because what you do is you put the apples and the raspberries and orange juice and lemon juice and a little orange zest and lemon just, uh, zest into one of your Le, Le Creuset pots yes. and throw it in the oven an hour and 15 minutes. That's what you end up with. Oh, Roasted applesauce. It's good, isn't it? Oh, it's delightful. And it's so easy to do. I don't know why anybody would take it out of a jar. Without a it's, doubt. Let's take a look at a few other things. Apple pie bars. Apple, yeah. Instead of um, apple pie where you have to roll out the crust and everything else, this has shortbread as the crust on the bottom. And then you take some of the shortbread and crumble it on top with sweet apples in the middle. It's just fantastic. Ooh, I can tell you half the quantity we brought in for both of Ina's appearances is now gone. We're actually well over half gone. This price and this easy pay and that we're on three pay today, Ina. Yeah, that's that great. price and easy pay all go away end of that's day great. today. This is Ina's final appearance of 2016 with us. She is a very busy lady with a book tour right around the corner. She's going to maybe come into a town near you. <laughs> Be sure to check out her Facebook page. But this is apple pie bars. This is your chocolate creme brulee. Creme brulee with a crisp crust. Mm. So it's got, that too has coffee in it. It really brings out the chocolate in it. Now recently, Wonderful. because I love your Facebook page oh, and I like you, you and, I, and your updates show up in my news feed, yeah. you did a little video on your skillet lemon chicken. Aren't those little videos fun? We're doing these Where they speed them up? But, but they speed them up. It was really fun. So this is really, you butterfly a chicken so it's flat and you brush it with um, an herb oil and then you put onions in the skillet, yeah. l lemons in the skillet and garlic and you put it on, chicken on top into the oven. Fif 45 minutes you've got the most delicious chicken. Uh -oh. It's really, and, and then you eat the lemon because it's cooked. You really sure. eat the lemon and the rind and it's all part of the sauce. Well, Just like that. Isn't that I can great? tell you now between both airings that Ina's been here, well over 30 thousand books are gone now 6500 ordered in this show easy pay and sell price go away end of day today and well over half of what we brought in for the both airings Wonderful. is now gone Wonderful. let's talk about a great appetizer for thanksgiving Th this is actually great it's because it, it's very autumnal isn't it mm. it's um butternut squash it's onions and and uh on a bruschetta with a little bit of ricotta it's just oh. just delicious and you can make it in advance and Everybody can help themselves. How about a little baked ziti? A little baked ziti. I could do that. It? Right here. <laughs> yeah. This is your baked That's ziti. Sausage and ziti. Or sausage, sausage and, and ziti. I'm and sorry. Excuse me. It's the same thing. Yeah. I and mean, there are a million ways to describe pasta, and it's just um, it's really a meal in it all in one it together. It looks so lovely. Yeah, thank you. Look at this. <laughs> thank you. I'm getting extra helpings. <laughs> all right. So let me grab a fork. Do a little tasting here. So this is, uh, you said sausage? Sausage. Mm -hmm. Sausage and ziti. Mm. I don't know, after the, the cake and the ziti and the... <laughs> You're going to need a vacation. You're cooking. I'll eat all day long. Mmm. So perfect. <laughs> Everything about this. And maybe we, we finish off this presentation with a little frozen hot chocolate. Oh, yeah. That's a good one. Oh, right, right here. here. Mm. Aren't those great? So you make a hot chocolate mix and you mix it with with ice serendipity in new york serendipity in new was, york was a restaurant where you had this and inspired with you jeffrey mm. when we were in college <laughs> it was one of your first dates i think wasn't mm -hmm. it or when you were dating
Mm. That's not bad, is it? No, ma'am. Whoa. <laughs> or to use your favorite phrase, how easy is that? How easy is that? <laughs> I must tell you, well over half the quantity we brought in for Ina's both appearances is, is, is gone. 32,000 books are now gone. 8,000 books in this show. That easy pay and the price will go away end of day today. This is three easy payments on a $21 book. I must wish you Thank very, you. very happy holidays. And you too. You and Thank you guys for watching this video. I hope this review helped in a way or another. Make sure to click on the link in the description and receive my special discounted promo price.